So you happily design something beautiful inside of Canva and I applaud you for that. Now the next step you need to take is downloading your design from Canva and you open the download tab and you see that there are a number of files and you're wondering which one do I have to choose in order to get the best quality possible. Well, today I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know about the download tab in Canva and just also help you so you can get the best quality possible after you've downloaded your designs from Canva. So make sure you are following through to the end of this video. If you're new to this channel, I would highly encourage you to subscribe, like this video as well if you find anything helpful. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. So you can see I have this design from the previous tutorial and we are going to be downloading it. So what you need to first of all do is to click on share. Okay, and once you click on share, the next thing to click on is download all right so this is where we have everything the final step before you can have your design out of canva okay so what we are going to do now is first of all go into the file types all right so the first file type you can see is jpeg okay and you'll be wondering why you need to download your files in jpeg or your design in jpeg usually jpeg is good for you know for small file sizes and something you quickly want to upload on the internet all right so if you're looking at uploading whatever you've created without spending so much internet on uploads then jpeg is the best file size to do that okay now the second one is is png okay and png is usually good because if you download your files in png the first thing is you're not going to lose quality and the second thing is you can also download your designs or your photos without background when it comes to png so png gives you that option all right third one is pdf okay because pdf is for documents so let's say you designed um an invoice or let's say proposal something of that sort inside of canva an ebook also can be a good example the best file format for you to download it is pdf okay and in canva there are two options with the pdf okay if we come here you can see we have the pdf standard and pdf for printing so depending on what the document is going to be used for these options are best for you so if you're going to be emailing it to a client maybe your invoice you know the pdf standard is the best one for you to go with okay and um, if you're going to print it out then pdf print is also the other option for you okay and i hope this is very easy and very simple to understand now the other thing is svg okay now what is svg so svg simply means the scalable vector graphics i think i'm correct yeah, scalable boy. vector graphics which means that if you download your designs and um, or anything especially logos and icons and svg you can scale it to any amount and it's not going to lose quality and svg is usually best for websites okay website files so let's assume you design something in canva maybe um a banner okay and you want to use it for your website the best format usually is svg because even if it's expanded it's not going to lose any quality whatsoever okay so that's svg G. Now, coming back, we also have MP4, which is simply for video, and we have GIF, which is short animations or short videos, which usually comes with no sound. Okay, so if you create maybe an animation in Canva and you are looking for how you can download it to use it as a you know a short clip, just something you can place on your website or anywhere. I think Instagram gets to support that as well. You can download it as GIF, okay, so that you can use it and enjoy your design anywhere okay and also you can attach gifs to emails okay maybe you do something i think one of these days we would see how to create our custom gifs inside of canvas so we can attach it to emails to give our emails you know interesting vibes you understand so that's with gif okay so with our design right now it's something we are going to share online and we need it to be high quality okay so what do you think is the best format we have to use png okay so with png i'm just going to choose the png and work as you okay png and you can see we have size okay the size usually gets to increase the dimension of the image okay but what we use is what i need so you can see if i zoom in over here you can see we have 1080 by 1350 that's the pixels if i increase it times you know 1.75 you can see it's been increased okay so you can also increase it and in order but i will just keep it over here what you also need to understand is if you want the 
background to be removed or you want to transfer in background let's say we didn't add anything here in our design we can just click on this and would we'll have a transparent background or if we also want to compress it we can also compress it but we'll leave it here for now okay you can also click on save download settings okay and download once we download it everything should download okay and i'm going to compare the two versions we'll create another version all that so this is what i want you to see so i'll just do it match day v1 okay so match the v1 and let's do another one so come to here come to there and we'll increase it okay so let's say i hit it by times two okay then i come to download okay everything is also going to download so this would be match the v2 okay match the v2 now let me remove this background over here okay and i'll come to share come to download and in download i'll choose transparent background and i will come to download again okay so let's see how this is also going to look like so once this is done we are simply going to compare you know the quality just to see which one is best or what you need to do when you're downloading yours okay nice so this is match what v3 okay so now that we have that i'll simply open my file explorer and just go into downloads okay and let's open all of them so i have it opened over here okay and i just would move it here and we have the so that's the match the three okay so let's put the match the three here we have match the two over here and match the one okay so over here let me just okay so these are the two all right and you can see if we go closely let me zoom in to see if they're saying okay so this is the v1 okay so you can see how it's looking let's see the v2 to the same part of his eyes okay and um, the v3 it is usually with the background removed so we can just see that in a way this looks detailed you know this looks a bit detailed to me than this okay this looks detailed than what we have over here let's look at his hair okay yeah i think this looks detailed this the v2 looks detailed because we increase the size it looks detailed because look at this strand over here you can see we are seeing the entire strand but for here i think it's the same okay we've even okay so let me increase it to the maximum 800 okay then we can just look at everything okay 800 800 okay so we are going to use the strand this hair strand as an example all right so you can see this is the v2 and this is the v1 and we've zoomed in all to 800 800 800 percent okay so you can see that to 800 with this one this is how far we can go and with the same um dimension but increase times two we can go more it means that there are more details we can actually go into to look at okay so this one gives us more details all right and this one you know at least is like just the best version you can get but if you want to go extra then the v2 which is we increasing the size you know gets to give us what we are seeing over here okay without the background with an increased size you know we are also getting something similar to what we did over here so you can see how everything is looking so this just gets to tell you that if you want the highest quality possible you can increase the size in canva okay and just in case you're wondering which size am i talking about this is what i'm talking about i'm coming to share download the size okay we increased this two times two okay and um, we downloaded it so that's what we actually did and i hope that answers your question but now there are a few things you also would need to consider before you even attempt downloading your designs in a high quality um, format the first thing is make sure your elements are high quality your images are clear are crisp, are hd so that once you even do any sort of editing example removing the background you don't lose too much quality because the truth is when you remove the background of your images at least you you get to lose some quality some pixels gets to be removed okay so always make sure your images are high quality as possible so that after you download the designs you don't lose too much you know quality from your images and that will help you i hope you found it helpful the name is benjamin subscribe join my community if you want join canva pro all the links can be found in the description box below i should see you in my next video